41 minute. Oh, am I recording? Uploading the August vlog. Perfect way wait, wait, to start the September vlog. Hello. It's not actually September yet. It's actually August 31st. Yeah, 25 minutes until October. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I love October. It's October the best October. month. Last month's vlogs were nothing but dog pics. Um, what, what can we look forward to in this vlog? Based on our guesses. More dogs? Um, zoo trip. Zoo trip? We're planning a zoo trip? Just vlog. Just vlogging. Yeah. Um, we're gonna finish the 100 days this month. I'm gonna be packing honey walls this month. Oh my god! Oh yes! <laughs> um, oh. oh, I have to get... Moonlight ready? Oh. That probably won't be part of this vlog. Like we're trying to do an intro so that we don't have to do a voiceover. I was oh. like, I was like, heck, we should probably figure out how to do this. Um, what else happens in September? We all die. Oh, it becomes autumn. The autumn solstice happens. Solstice. Or equinox. Oh, this house will get clean. Oh yeah, hopefully. After our week of... Poppy nonsense. Look at that hair. Effie hasn't been able to go around because it's just a mess. <gasps> there we go, there's a puppy now. Let's see if she'll look at us. Mina! Nope. Mina! <gasps> you know what I've never done on these vlogs? That we have five of up now? Two. Two. <laughs> I've never shown my nine point wall. Oh my god, go show your nine point wall. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Go basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> go basketball game tomorrow. <laughs> Serena, this isn't about you. Okay. One day in my life, I made this. It is the nine point height chart IRL. It shows you how tall each and every species is. You know what we've never done? What? Sorry, let me do an epic zoom. I can't do it. You're too far away. <laughs> I've never... We've never seen how tall Serena is. Oh. Okay. Get over here. Okay, we're gonna see what animal Serena actually is. Stand her up like a furry. Hey, girl. What is she? She's either... She is a pocket gopher. <laughs> pocket gopher. Or a line squirrel, or a hoary bat, or a red... Vole. Vole. Wool. A ground squirrel, or a prairie vole. Good job. You're a prairie vole! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I did this, and it's, it's just... How big are you? You're like cat-sized, right? Oh, now you're a skunk. Wait, no, you're a cat! <laughs> no, I'm cat-sized. The polar bear is up at top, but it's like... Not actually, it's way taller. We're gonna see polar bears tomorrow. Tomorrow. Actually, not tomorrow. I'm going to the zoo tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, play with me. I don't know what you're expecting of me. I got drunk and I recorded a video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, because you're for them. <laughs> no, don't yell at the viewers. <laughs> So yeah, once had some wine, we recorded a video. Our first comment was, I'm scared. <laughs> Why would really... you be scared of me? Look at me, I'm beautiful and sweet. You're a handsome, friendly boy who's hugging his lovely dog. Sad, sad, lonely dog. Well, she's scared because there's fireworks. Yeah. Illegal fireworks. I know. I hate all the fireworks because they just traumatize our dog. I was just laughing at vines and now I have to perform for you fools. <laughs> Lear's got wet fur too. He's like, he's beautiful. It was bath day. It was very traumatizing for everyone, especially Lear Uphold. Thanks, Monica. Lear Uphold had a lot of trouble. He kept crying the whole time. Wow! <laughs> like that. Oh, he's got a mat. Oh, poor boy. He has a mat. Does he have a Nathan? 
I don't have boy names. <laughs> Is Matthew shirt sure for a girl name too? No. I know no names have genders. Yeah, we're woke. But like, <laughs> does, does there a Matt girl? I'm um, like a uh... Matissa. <laughs> like, <laughs> like there's Matthew and Mad Madeline. Probably Matilda. Oh yeah. You can call her Matt. Thank you. That's what my question was. <laughs> Or Madeline, but that's more Maddie. By my child. He's it's a play behavior. My video. You're getting all that look in your lips is a stress behavior. Are you stressed? Are you stressed right now? Stressing you out. Dad. They get your Grinch. Cause I'm crying. And I'm having the time of my life. I'm oh. ugly. Don't oh, look at me. Yeah, YouTube, so. I'm ugly. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. It's time to go to zoo. Let's go to the zoo. <laughs> it will. We dropped <laughs> off the doggos. And now it's time to zoom on over to some coffee time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming you want Tim Hortons. Yeah. Okay. You want the cheap coffees? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Every vlog has to have us eating Tim Hortons at some point. Pretty much. How else will they know we're Canadian? We, we do it a lot, even for Canadians, I feel. No, I know everyone in my... Like, my family, like, constantly goes to Timmy's. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure my grandma goes, like, every day or something. Oh, my God. Okay, she goes more than we do, because we go on the weekends. Okay, maybe she doesn't go every day. But there's a lot of people who go every day, and we don't go every day, so, yeah. That is very true. Like, literally, their slogan on the doors is, like, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Facts. Oh, it's time. It's Timmy time. Timmy time time. <laughs> I'm sorry about the bad audio quality, but our car broke down, so we're not getting a mic for a bit. Yeah. Whoa. We're not we're really getting anything for a bit. <laughs> this is our new car, though. It's fancy dancing. Yeah, it is. Thanks, Mark and Kim. Thank you. You're really sweet. You're the sweetest fam. Oh, yeah. How can I help you? Um, could I get a small iced coffee and a medium iced coffee? Small and a medium iced coffee? Yep. Anything else? Nope. That's everything. Thanks. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, time to figure out our route. Okay, so could you pass me the little dingle bongle for the charger? In a bit. Okay, well, we'll figure out our route. <laughs> I'm recording you. I can't be passing dingle dongles to nobody. <laughs> oh my god, I miss someone. I'm hungover, guys, from last night. I have like super migraine. But I'm ready to see some llamas. Are they llamas? Zoom llamas? Uh, we have to... Okay. Game plan for the zoo. What? We need to see the African Savannah Pavilion because most of the animals are away in okay. the cold times. Mm -hmm. And we need to go see the, the Canadian animals because I haven't seen mooses in a while. Okay. That'll be our game plan. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Don't drive high, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's so... Okay, sorry. I can't have music on. Okay. Right. It's so weird. Oh look, there's like a reminder school is back. <laughs> Wait. I can't see it. Where is it? I, I can't find it, I'm sorry. But I just gotta say, it's really weird to be driving along and it's like, don't drive high, and there's like the little like... Because mm -hmm. like, before it was legalized, there's just always the little martini glass, like, don't drive drunk. Yep. But now, like, you can show the marijuana leaf because you're like, yeah, it's legal, so don't do it while you're driving. No token it up, guys. It's just weird. Driving in Timmy's, the real danger on the road here. I'm a criminal. How much longer? Twenty-three minutes. Making my way downtown. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going downtown, see. Oh, like it's a panic fork up ahead. Panic fork. I love panic fork. Panic
panic forks are the best. I like when people fly across three lanes of traffic to get to a panic fork. Oh my god, That's for my real. <laughs> oh my god. My favorite is when driving <laughs> <laughs> on the 401 in Mary. Ugh. Oh my god, those Why? poor guys. Just like oh, backed god. up. Oh no. Oh, no. And we're not going home again. I guess never. <laughs> never going home, sorry. sorry. Live at the zoo. <laughs> we already do. Yeah. We did it, we are here. We're here, we did it. <laughs> Look at all these chickens. <laughs> there's so many freaking cars and people. Oh my god, there's so many people. Way up there. I can't zoom enough to get the good boy, I'm sorry. We made it to the zoo. It's a stupid plan because we went on Labor Day, so there's a million people here. <laughs> We're at the zoo. <laughs> I wasn't sure how many people would be here, but man, there are people. <gasps> There's a good boy. Hey, boy. <laughs> oh, no, there's another good boy. There's so many good boys. <laughs> I'm trying not to do my cutesy baby voice all the time. <laughs> Your cutesy baby voice is the best. It's literally how we talk all the time. <laughs> True. <laughs> we do naturally just go, oh, no, 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 Nature. <laughs> the nature's G though. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop recording for a bit. We have made it into the zoo. Oh, well, we are here. I can't tell if you're in focus or not. It's hard. Your backlit, there we go, is that there go. Like there's a Tim Hortons even in here. <laughs> the Pachin place is open. Yeah, because it's uh, it's Labor Day, so things are actually open. Yeah, last yeah. time we were here, there was nothing. It's nothing. We didn't even have beaver tails. It's off season. Well, there's stuff. There's like yeah, yeah. the one, there's like the, the one places. It's like a burger place. I know it's not like super busy, but it's like way too busy for me. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> anti social people. It's too much. There's just too many people like just cutting in front, you know? Uh -huh. This is like, what the heck is going on? All right. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I bet you want to go on the carousel. Oh, hell yeah. So far, I would rate my zoo trip as overwhelming. Very. There's lots of humans, they're the weirdest things at the zoo. <laughs> what? I'm really close up on you. Oh my god, there's so many people. There's so many people, it's very overwhelming. There's yeah. lots of strollers and, come, and wagons coming at you. No one can see them, I'm not focused. Oh, like the sleepy one. <laughs> That's me. Oh yeah, there's the little turtles in the background. Mm. Oh, there's a little turtle boy. A big turtle boy, actually. Sleepy boys. Yells at pigs. Listen to me, pigs. I'm a child. <laughs> the lighting on the, the drafts are right up against the sun, so you can just see the shadows of them. <laughs> it is not a day for filming giraffe. Oof. It hurt my toe. I don't know what I did. It just existed. <laughs> Look at these legs. There you go. You can see the legs. <laughs> Overexposed. But legs. They're really tall. It's like when we went to the farmer's market. Do you know what the problem with humans is? What? Everything. But also, the, their tendency is a group. Like, as soon as you got, you find something to look at, you'll, you'll be surrounded by people. If you're trying to have like a quiet moment at any sort of place, not even just the zoo, it's just like you stand somewhere and someone's like, yeah, this is a good place to stand. And you're like, <sighs> you have to leave. Yeah. 
Will we get to monetize because there's children? What? I'm pretty sure. Can, can you get demonetized if you film children? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm stupid. I wasn't recording the hippos. I'm sorry, guys. But look, there's still hippos here. What's a group of hippos called? A bloat. A bloat of hippos. But there, also, there's a peacock under the bridge. There's just like a peacock under the bridge. He's hanging out. Living his best peacock life. Looks like he's in jail. He is. He should be. Look at these boys. They're so good. Good boys. Or girls. I don't know. I don't know these hippos. I don't know where they've been. She's so pretty. Dorito girl. <laughs> Scary Dorito. No. Wait. Yeah, wait, don't touch him. Be careful. Be careful of the peacock. It's a peahen. Be respectful. She's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely girl. So cute. I love that they still have the same colors as the guys. Yeah. Like, here. What is <laughs> Why did I just sass a random person? Don't misgender the girl. You know what? I've never actually asked her. She could be a boy. Transgender peacock. So nervous. Reminds me like a Malthea. A Malthea as a bird. Right, so Ursula here, so Ursula here, she told me that I should tell you my story about peacocks because no one knows the difference between peacocks and peahens and it was funny because my a friend of mine, not a friend, a family friend of mine put, who's kind of really homophobic, she put up a, like a picture of this wedding cake that she thought was beautiful and it had two peacocks on it and one was a white peacock and one was um, just a, a, a regular colored peacock and it was just like the white one was supposed to be the girl and they were like, what lovely wedding toppers and I'm like, that's a gay wedding cake. <laughs> also, this is my friend. It's my new girlfriend, Ursula. <laughs> They're like horses, but they're easier to draw because <laughs> they have like contours for you. That is true, built in contours. Understand the form. Exactly. Keep going. Oh, they're giant ears. Those must be to regulate heat, eh? Yeah. They're like horses, but they're really crazy. <laughs> Like how they bunch together, are they a team? I love the little baby one. They're kind of brown. Yeah, like chocolate. They have such a, they have like um, a great design. They're like a boy band cover, except <laughs> the one facing backwards. Yeah. Oh. He did a dramatic look over his shoulder. It'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can we hold those? They're not super heavy, they're mostly kind of hollow. Oh, okay. Like they're, they radiate, they're for like temperature. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're like little radiators. Oh. Eating her Beyond Burger, like a classy girl. Hell yeah. We got them fries. And we got Beyond Meat Burger. I like the Beyond Meat stuff. Same fam. It's like fast food tasty, you know? Yeah. It's like not good for you, mm -hmm. but it's a snack. Mm -hmm. It's a tasty snack like my girl. <laughs> yeah. So after this, we're heading yeah. over to see all the Canadian animals. Mm -hmm. Our favorite. Hell yeah. I want to see the raccoons so bad. I love them. And I didn't get to see the moose last time we went. Oh. They were so far away. Mm -hmm. I'm so ready for the bison though. I love them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like, I have to eat cute. <laughs> they love. 
<laughs> June, is it your art? Is this your furry art? Charlie. <laughs> we found Serena. Oh, there's she stole her dog. There's a little black one. That's her dog. <laughs> it's so interesting actually seeing the the way that the striping works up close. Yeah. It does make them look. Yeah, because it's most made make like the striping is supposed to make them look really thin, <laughs> so that predators are like, mm, not worth, not too much meat. Oh, they're so pretty. Mm. Uh, Am I making you an ungulate fan? They're so cute. Always been an ungulate fan. They're like the most underrated mm. of the animals at the zoo. I love his little like, wish girls. Well, yeah, sorry, they've got like um, it's not a donkey. Okay, I don't know if I'm off base here, but it reminds me of Fado <laughs> in the face. I can see it. It's like the big eyes. <laughs> Fado when he's old. Yeah, it's like old man Fado. They have such dino legs. They do. You really see it. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he look like he's in jumping mode? No, como que va a It's Penny. <laughs> so cute. Like a little cinnamony one running around somewhere. Not quite cinnamon, but a lot of like ginger fruit. Oh my god, there's a baby right here. That's Shelly and that's Shelly. And down and down. Ursula making kitty. You make kissy noises, they come over. They're so much healthier than like the city raccoons. Food. Yeah. Junk. It looks like something yeah. threw something in there. One is right there. Three. Excuse me. Look at me. Stepa. I would not do that. I know that none of you care about bison like I do, but I love them so much. We found more of them. New herd. Herd goals. Squad goals. <laughs> There's also a bunch of geese. There's geese in every enclosure. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> There's geese everywhere you go. There's little baby ones. I love them sweet Dorito boys. <laughs> I like the Canadian pavilion because no one's here because it's so far away. It's like the furthest point of the zoo. Mm -hmm. It's got the cutest animals. It really does. Oh my gosh, look! It's so big! Come sit! Do you know who their closest relative is at the zoo? Yeah, like, I've never seen them this close. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It's a hyena! Hi, hyena! Hyena? Hi, hyena! We're waiting for penguins, but they will not come. Right, please. Please, penguins. Please. Yo, tag yourself. Um, 
this is bone. But, oh wait, this is me when I'm like excited to draw a thing. And then this is me and bones all the time. <laughs> I've never been to this part of the zoo. But there's beautiful macaws hanging out. Being silly. There's a little capybara. We didn't know. Oh, we didn't even oh, know. Oh. oh, it's getting a little steamy. Look at the baby. Oh, there's a little honeybee, too. Oh, so many good babies. Oh, also, there's also flamingos. <laughs> okay. Hey. Look at the tall guys in the back. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hi, hey, Wendy. A little jaguar. Oh, my God. I'm excited. Yeah, I love them. There's a black one in there, too. Baby. Sorry, a melanistic jaguar. Yeah. There's no such thing as a, is black, it a panther. black panther. There's never been a black panther. It's actually a jaguar who has yeah. dark spots on dark fur. Baby. Baby. Look at you. Oh. The little babies. This guy. Guys, look at Serena. It's our favorite exhibit, the geese. It's actually supposed to be caribou, but they don't caribou to us. Oh yeah. They come in. They knew Bones wanted to see them. I'm bound. He's so happy. Look at the happy boy. <laughs> the boys and girls have antlers. They do. Yeah. The oh. boys have the longer ones. Oh, and they the girls come have in. The little short ones. Oh, okay. And the gr the boys lose theirs first. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Oh, oh so they come. <laughs> Squad. I love their clumps. They have like clumps <laughs> for the snow. Babies. Oh, thank you guys. They oh, didn't want you to miss. They're getting their spritz. Hell yeah. Oh, you're coming up. Oh, hello. 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 Baby. Oh my god, hello. Oh, I love you. Thank you. Oh, it's like, don't worry, Bones. I'm here to see hello. you. Oh, what a babe. What a good babe. Mingo. See the flamingos in the back, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that <laughs> boop. <laughs> yeah, that one's kind of like darker. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's crying over. I got some personality. You coming? Come on. Hello. Hello. So pretty. So beauty. Yeah. I like your your leggings. They're very cute. All the little deer flies on there. She pretty. So beauty. Oh look at the little peeps. I know. They've got like wider feet. Mm -hmm. So they don't sink in the snow. Ah, uh, makes sense. Oh. You itch it? No, it's just gonna lay down. Oh, baby. Oh. oh, oh, it's so hot. Oh, she's so pretty. So beautiful. Oh, beautiful girl. I love you. <laughs> the eyes. I love you too. Yum, yum. <laughs> they remind me of Madoka. Yes. Oh my god, they've got such Madoka energy. 
What a hecking cutie. Oh my god, the scratch. Oh. She got all wet. Oh my god, they're so cute. So Serena grew up. Aww. It's hard keeping all that white fur clean. So see. Look what we got. We got a beaver's tail. They're still lumbling. Hi. I'm really tired. It's the end of the day. We got a beaver tail. It's delicious and I'm ready for it. It's got score bits and caramel and cheesecake. And chocolate. Heck yeah. Um. <laughs> mm, so hot. <clears throat> um, little climb. Big climb. <laughs> And he zoomed in as much as he can. So <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you see the it's little baby behind him, mom? Yeah, Look down. Right there. Right where my fingers are. Do you see the little baby behind him? <gasps> Did not see the doll. Look at the baby butt. They sleeping. They're like little wild hamsters. Mm -hmm. I mean, hamsters can be wild. You have no fear. Well, people give food. That's true. I wonder how close I can get. Oh no, too close. Sorry. Chipmunks are really cute because their families, if a young one leaves and can't like make it on their own, the parents will let it come back to the, the nest. They're squirrels, did you know that? Yeah, little, little ground squirrels. Bye. I'm <laughs> bonesy. <laughs> Yeah, Hello and welcome to Bones' Houses in Disarray, part 50. Um, so, we went to the zoo. I haven't been filming since because our battery died at the zoo and I just keep forgetting to charge it. We went to the Eden Mills Writing Festival. Serena went with us because it was an outdoor thing. And we couldn't leave her at home all day. So that happened. Also what happened is that the Honeywalls books came in and so I've been working on shipping them. Um, let's make sure I don't. So they came in in these lovely boxes. Um, I have eight boxes of them and one is with my friends in Montreal. So here they are, they're beautiful. They've got like these really soft covers. Velvety. Beautiful. And so what I've been doing is packaging them and marking them. So there's no shipping information. Well, there's shipping information, but not like people's addresses. I've just been marking them with what order number they are. So when I ship them, um, I have the little labels. So they have everything that they need to have. They have their packing slips. And I just need to put the right label on the right label. <laughs> um, I, I gotta match the order number with the uh, shipping labels. We're good. These little ones. What are you doing? Are you eating something? These ones are all like the leftover ones that, because several people have ordered like um, several books. Let's look at Fatal. Several people have ordered like a bunch of books. And I can't ship them in just like flat mailers. I'm concerned that the flat mailers are gonna damage the books. I hope not. I might staple the sides so they don't shift around so much. Um, I bought them like an inch too big. Cause I have like my old mailers down there and then these new mailers which are like an inch too big on each side. So I guess 
way bigger than I want them. Right, Fado? Yeah, he agrees. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's good. I also have these ones that I just, I don't know what happens, but they don't have a label, so I, I wrote down the, the end of their serial number, because the last three numbers is all that really matters. And, yeah, I'll figure out why it's not on my mailing list. And then I gotta get them to chit-chats, and we're good. We're good, Fado. We're good. Alright, we're going right off of where I left off in my last clip. But, so you may notice that our couch is out here, and it is a total mess. And this corner is completely different. Like, all our floor is dirty, but right here. So... I don't know what happened, and it's been the most disgusting thing I've been dealing with this month. But either the puppy peed, or the puppy peed and then cats started peeing on top of where the puppy peed, but this corner of our room was nasty. And I was going at it with the wet vac for like a week, of uh, just like putting extra water down and then trying to like soak up like the pee. I used like 50 different enzyme cleaners. Um, and it just would keep coming back. So I rented the uh, carpet cleaner, not like a steam cleaner, because everyone unanimously said that a steam cleaner would just make the pee <laughs> like cook into my carpet. So I was like, okay, no, not gonna do that. So I got a carpet cleaner thing. I don't know what it is, but basically it shoots water down and then sucks it up. And man, the water that was coming up was freaking yellow as all heck. Um, so we did that corner. Uh, if it works out, we have some like really old stains that I'm gonna try and I'm gonna rent it again and try and get those stains out because our old cat used to pee on things too, but it was not as bad as this. I think this was just so bad because I kept like wetting it so it was like active bacteria or whatever. I don't know. It was a mess. So far it doesn't smell, but I'm gonna give it a week because cat pee is one of those things where it just, it stops smelling for a bit and if there's any left in the rug it'll start decomposing again, which is wonderful, and it smells like ammonia. Um, so yeah, I got like this stuff. This stuff. I hope it works. It smells a lot better than all of the other enzyme cleaners. I don't know if it is an enzyme cleaner though. Blah 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 cleaners, I'm an adult. Um, adult things I didn't realize, you're supposed to shampoo your carpet? No one told me this. No one said, hey Bones, make sure to shampoo your carpet. So, as you can see, my carpet is a complete mess. That's just because like, our life is a mess and we haven't been able to have Effie clean recently. Effie being my robot vacuum. It's just, it's a complete mess in here because I have a bunch of boxes that I need to leave my house. I've got eight boxes full of books. My puppy was a thing and we had to like move everything out of the kitchen so our hallway's a mess. I feel like once a month our room because becomes this like complete monstrosity of a, of a room. Like our coffee table's in the corner. Ugh. My goodness. Hopefully in like one of the next clips or following clips, you're gonna see our room and it's gonna be all clean. But I'm really impressed with this. Like this is blue carpet, this is green carpet. <laughs> it's just, man, what a mess. You're seeing like got blotchy bits, but that's just because it's wet still and it needs to dry. And hopefully no one pees on it ever again because it makes me cry. <laughs> All right, okay, I gotta get back to shipping these. See you guys in the next clip. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Ignore the box, guys. There's nothing in here. It's just more mason jars. They're really wiggly. Okay. I might seem like a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> However, 
these people in these whatever is in this box I can assure you is the worst thing ever and you should never open Pandora's box oh I need to see their little faces there's nothing in this box just let it go or so it'll figure itself out I'm fighting. <laughs> no, there's nothing in the box. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's just mason jars. <laughs> I just like close it. <laughs> close it now. Guys, the thing's open. <laughs> See, they like it in there. It's their home. It's a condo. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, oh god. god! The reason are getting away! You know in H Mom's video about control delete mm -hmm. and he's birthed from loss? That's what that was like. It was like birth, rebirth. So I don't know if I told all of you. But I did finish sending out all of the uh, Honeywell's orders. Like I packed them all up, sent them to Chit Chats. It was a whole heckin' ordeal. But anyways, I went ahead and decided to celebrate Honeywell's being Dunny Walls by getting myself some 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 lovely things. Wait, wait, focus from the bee shop. Oh yeah, it's really cute. It's got a little, little, little bumble, little bumble po postage. So that's my order. I got Medica's helping me. Medica, it's not for you. I got a little thing. I got a thing of bee pollen. I have never had bee pollen, but I am excited to have the bee pollen. Apparently it tastes very earthy. It's good with like cereal or something. I don't know. I don't know what to do with bee pollen. I just always wanted it because it looks so so festive. Like look at this. Because it's the little thing that they collect in their little pollen baskets and then they kick them off. I'm probably allergic to it. <laughs> Watch. Okay, I got that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember from like the streams, but I've been obsessed with trying to obtain this. Madoka, it's not for you. Uh. It's 100% pure honeycomb. One sec, I gotta open it. Look at it, it's so pretty. It smells so good. I'm gonna spread it on toast and it's gonna be the best. You sicky little girl. Waffles. Clearly we're alone. Really out of it from the oh. <laughs> situation. <laughs> Need to save that. Damn. Please. She like fell down outside when she was taking a pee. <laughs> she was oh. like, I'm done. <laughs> mm. <laughs> She's so drooly. I know. Her little tail, are you seeing that? Oh! oh. <laughs> I need... <laughs> Time to head but more. Oh, I'm sorry. I bet she wants to cuddle up. Yeah. I'm sorry, girl. I'll snuggle with you. Oh, I love the bee tape. I know, it's so cute. Mm. <laughs> I can't wait to drink it. Heck tonight. yeah. We got some delicious cheeses and so some bread. Pro tip Beauty. these bottles have more wine than these bottles. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, then. Yeah, if they're like these pushy bottles, they're, they're bigger wine hmm. than their juice. It's, I think it's like almost a liter, and this is like half a liter. Seriously? It's that yeah. much of a difference? Yeah. Whoa. 
It's about 250 milliliters difference for the smaller bottles. Hmm. Okay, I'm ready. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so this is our lovely Honeywell's feast for finishing Honeywell's. Ooh, there's fires. It's fiery. It's goth. <laughs> we have bread. We have the honeycomb. We have a delicious feta, a ricotta, a brie, a stinky keys, some apple, apple, uh, <laughs> we have a yelling dog. Um. <laughs> we have cherries. <laughs> yep, cherries. <laughs> you know. And apple cheddar. That's and it. then we have our lovely bottles, which we will, we will do. But first, feed the monster so That's she's it. less screamy. You're cute. You're you look cute. frazzled. Um, she's, we're calling her Hurricane Grey today. I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> okay, it was the good. eye of the storm. Okay, let's do it before okay. the bread becomes cold. Okay. This is my puppy. She's healed a little bit. In three days she can go free. She doesn't like her cone head. Do you like your cone head? No, you don't like your cone head. No cone head for you. Little baby cone head. So you may be wondering why this vlog is so long. Why in the world could it be so long? Is it because we did a lot this month? Yes, but also, I have a bag of bagged milk. <laughs> because we talked about it on stream. Um, so I thought, dang, time to show you guys bagged milk in action. If you're Canadian, or I think uh, some parts of uh, South America also have bagged milk, but you guys, you already know what we're in for, but you Americans are always sassy me about this stuff. So here we go. Let me show you. Well, I guess the UK people, like Charlie, are also sassy me. So... <laughs> Hi, Ursula. Oh. <clears throat> Show them how it works. Oh, look, am I setting it up? Yeah, you can set it up. I'm recording. It's hard to do one-handed. So yeah, you put it in your fancy milk pitcher. You knock it so it goes to the bottom. Do you want me to do that? I don't... Do you... Wait, I can't see what you're doing. <laughs> She's got I got That's... hiccups. I'm sorry, guys. And then you saw it with half a thing of scissors. Most people who drink a lot of milk have a, a special one that attaches to their fridge. It's like a magnet cutter. But then, yeah. When you have a little slip. Okay, I, I need you to fill my cup with like a cup of milk. It's very important. We have, we have to see this through. Ursula hiccups. I'm sorry. Like like an, a like a metric cup. Oh yeah. I'm making a chai latte. Is that like a cup? Yeah, it's like a cup. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you going on a snack run? I am. <laughs> Liquid. All right, so this is the end of the vlog. I have a little Madoka snuggle right here to, to focus on. Um. Yeah, I really like doing vlogs. Just a little side note here. I know this vlog is probably super duper long. I'm really excited to kind of open up the memory card and see what is on this thing. Because it's just, it's a fun little like, this month in review. And it's, I like it. 10 out of 10. Um, so yeah. I guess we'll see you guys in October. Uh, I guess Patreon people will see this thing in November. Um... But yeah, yeah, we'll see you in November slash October. Um, look forward to vlogs about, um, what are we doing? Oh, it's my birthday. It's my birthday, October 5th. So yeah, we're going to be doing birthday stuff. We're going to go to medieval times. We're going to do the Halloween. Fado, stop eating the kitty bowl. Free time with him. But yeah, we're gonna do all of that stuff. Who knows what October will bring? Um, 
September has went way better than August. August was terrible. Um, it didn't come that come across that way in the vlog last month. Um, man, last month's vlog cut off for some reason at the end. I was just reviewing it. I'm gonna try not to do that this time. But yeah, um, Oct August sucked. September is, it was amazing, really amazing. Um, there was the car thing. Um, there was the Fado getting stung in the face thing, which wasn't even vlogged. Uh, there was just puppy baby times. But man, things are turning around, and I'm excited. Um, other things I want to do, um, I know I said I was going to improve the mic quality here, but I think I'm going to try to improve the stream quality first before I do anything about the vlogs. I know I need a tripod because my camera goes all over the place and wibble wobbles. And I need, um, well, I need a more travel tripod, and I need a, um, microphone that's better than this one. But I'm gonna work on the stream setup first, because we do that more, and with a better stream setup, we will be able to podcast. So there we go. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. See you guys next month.